Is the Orange Crush 20 still worth your money? Well, I'm gonna review the SAMP, talk about the features, and I'm gonna demo it to help you answer that question. The reason I'm doing this video now is when I first reviewed this amp back in December 2020, it was $139.99. Well now on Amazon it's $149. Now that is with free shipping and free returns, but that does not include tax. So you'll have to figure tax for yourself if you go buy it at your local guitar shop. So as the price on this has gone up roughly 6.5%, what do we get for our money? Does it still hold its value? Well, I'm gonna give you five reasons why I think yes, it is worth the money. But hang on to the end, I'm also gonna give you one reason why this amp might not be for you and it might not be worth your money. So let's get started. Something to remember as I demo these tones, the type of guitar you're using is very important. So if you're using a guitar with humbuckers or a different style guitar, you might get a very different sound than I do. I am using the Squire Classic Vibes Tele. It's the 1960s Tele. And I'm using, it's got a single coil here and a P90 here. And I can go here, here, or blend the two. You might not have that configuration at all, so just keep that in mind. All right, the first reason why I think this amp has held its value is that it has a great clean tone with lots of headroom. In other words, it gets pretty loud before it starts to break up. Let me demonstrate this for you. It's a two channel amp, so you've got this little switch right here, dirty or clean, just flip it right there to clean, okay? And then that uses the clean volume. Now you'll notice I have the volume on about three. Listen to this. So as I selected through my pickups and I went from my single coil on my bridge to the combined in the middle to this P90 on the neck, you could hear the different colors and I just think it's a great clean tone and there's a lot of headroom. I only had it on three, I could have turned it up a lot more so if you're playing with a band and you wanna be heard or maybe playing in a coffee shop, there's a lot of headroom with this thing to stay, to stay clean and to fill up the room. So I think that is one great reason why this amp is worth the money. So the second reason why I think this amp holds its value at that price range is that it's a two channel amp. Now, for instance, the Fender Champion 20, which is the same price as this, is a one channel amp. Well, this is a two channel amp. And what that means is that with the flip of that switch I showed you earlier, or the clicking of a foot switch, which I don't have, it costs about $40, it is extra. But if you had the foot switch, just with a click of the foot switch, you can go from clean to dirty. Now I'm gonna use the switch on the top of the amp, but check this out. So we go from the clean, It's a great dirty tone, but also importantly, you can get there easily. Now, if I had a single channel amp, I might have to adjust some settings. On this one, I don't. I can have my dirty volume already adjusted. It's separate from the clean volume, and I can have my gain. The dirty volume and gain work for the dirty channel. The one that says dirty is the volume for the dirty channel, and the one that says gain makes it dirtier or cleaner. The clean is just strictly the clean volume dedicated to channel one. So I like that. I can set up the sounds how I want them and then with the click of a foot switch or just reaching over and flipping that switch, I can go from clean to dirty. Now if I was gigging live, I'd wanna have the foot switch obviously, but if I'm just jamming with myself in my room or just with a couple of buddies, it's no big deal, just flip the switch. And I like that feature that I can have two distinct sounds accessed with the flip of a switch. Now, the third reason is that dirty channel. I think it's a great rock channel. So check it out, I can make the gain go even higher if I wanted to get a little bit higher leads. So here's the gain at about halfway. If I wanna go higher gain, here's the gain almost all the way up, about at an eight. So you can really dig into the high gain there, and it's a great sounding rock channel. The fourth reason why I think this amp is worth the money is the three band EQ. 
Some amps in this price range have two bands for the treble and bass. This has treble, middle, and bass, so I can really scoop the mids if I wanted to. So check this out. Here's the mids about halfway up. So the first one, the mids were halfway up. Now here's the mids all the way off. And having a three band EQ lets you really dive into and dial in the sounds you want, whether it's a harder sound or one of the cleaner tones. I love that flexibility. Now, getting into the fifth reason why I think this amp is worth the money, and it has to do with the great quality of build. It's held its value for me. There's nothing cheap about this amp. None of the finishing is cheap. None of the knobs are cheap or plasticky feeling. They dial in, they are responsive for exactly what I'm trying to do, and the sound is amazing. Everything about this is built well. I've had this for over a year and it's still holding up. So Orange, you did a great job on this. By the way, I don't have any endorsement from Orange. I'm not receiving anything for this. I bought this amp with my own money and I'm just doing this because I enjoy reviewing these amps. Now, as promised, I would give you one reason why this amp might not be worth the money for you. So here's the deal. There's no effects in this amp. Yes, it's got a great clean channel and a great distorted channel with separate volume and gain control for the distortion and a separate volume for the clean, a three band EQ. There's a lot to dial in really great tones, but there's no effects. Now, if you have a ton of pedals, that is not gonna be a problem for you. But if you're like me, when I started out, I didn't have any effects. I had the amp that I use and that's it. And I still actually currently right now don't have any pedals. So if you don't have any pedals and you want to experiment with different tones, I would recommend the Fender Champion 20 in this price range. The Fender Champion 20 actually is $149.99. It costs a dollar more than this, no big deal. And with that, you get several different types of amps ranging from tweeds, the black plate, to British, to metal, and you get a lot of effects, 12 different effects actually, from reverbs to chorus to delay, tremolo, there's just lots of stuff there. So if you're wanting to experiment more with tones for songwriting or creativity purposes, you might wanna get that amp. But if you have pedals or you don't care about that, you just want a straight ahead good clean tone and a straight ahead good rock tone, this will fit the bill for you. And it has a lot of headroom. This little sucker gets loud. So if you wanna pick up this amp, I would find a dealer near you and go test it for yourself and buy it. But if you don't have a dealer near you, if you don't have any one of these near you, you can order it off of Amazon. I'll put a link below in the description section where it says buy now, just click there. I am an Amazon affiliate and at no extra charge to you. If you buy it, I get a small commission. It's just one way I support this channel. Now, if you have any questions about this amp down in the comment section below, please let me know what else would you like to know about this amp. And I also did some more videos about this amp. If you would like to know how this amp stacks up to the Crush 12, just click there. And how does it stack up against the Fender Champion 20? Just click right there. And as always, click right there to subscribe and hit the bell, because when you hit the bell, you'll be notified as soon as I come out with content like this. As always, thank you for your time. God bless. Have a great day. Bye.